hope that you are well. Today I want to discuss about um, Luminaire's option uh, in Dialux um, Evil, the version 12.1, compared um, with the old version where we did not have so many options uh, about the Luminaire's that we are planning to use uh, in our in our projects uh, and of course uh, we have new filters and just I want to, to show you and talk about uh, these features and filters um, how we can select color temperature for example the, the connected load and the mounting uh, possibilities of the luminous which you have already in your database for example, the first thing you go on the luminar section or the light uh, on top and then we have open the luminar list. You just need to click on it. And then we have all the luminaires which we have used or we have imported uh, from different manufacturer in, in our database. So here we have the first filter, the, you can click on it. And here we can see different type of mounting. Uh, and then, for example, if you want to use a ceiling recessed, you just click on it and the filter is already trimming only the luminaires which can be uh, recessed mounted. I would say here, for example, this one are not ceiling recessed, it's more ground recessed, but mostly the top version, yes, these are the ceiling recessed and you can use that. So this filter helps you to navigate to the your entire let's say luminar database which you have used in the past and make your life easier if you want ceiling mounted again here you get uh, also a very good overview of the luminaires which are uh, mounted like that and then we go back on the all and we use another filter from here you can use the brand name for example then you can use the luminar luminous flux and then on the top on the right corner you can see all the uh, luminous flux of all your luminaires so that's also very very good connected load Again, on the right corner, you will see all the 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 wattage or the power consumption of each individual luminaire. And what a feature which I like as well, you can see all. You can select also by brand, and then you can go. For example, let's let's choose one brand. And then we can use a, another filter and then we trim only on that specific brand. Here we go back. And what I like as well, we have an option also to show only emergency luminaires. So if we can click on that, we can see which luminar can be used as emergency lighting. So that's simplifying a lot. Um, your choice, for example, when you're working on a new project and you have a lot of luminaires in your database, so you don't remember all of them, what you have, you can just use the above filters on the luminar selection and then it makes your life easier. You go straight to the, let's say, to the luminar that you, you wish to use. And here you just, by unselecting, shows everything once again. So that's really convenient and easy to to work with a different type of luminaires. And here as well, you can use the color temperature on the right corner on top. You will see it as well. If we speak of a warm white, then it's that's very easy. Then it starts with a cool, and here you can have also it's very good sorted descending order or. you can use it as ascending order so now it's going from the warm white let's say to the to the cool white if you want the cool white you just click on this arrow and it shows a different way so that's really very intuitive 
easy to use and as i said it helps you a lot when you need to design luminaire and here you have also other options um, show only luminaire using this project then you see it also a list of the current luminaires which are being used in my 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 project i will just go once again so here is the list of all my luminaires which have been used in the following project that you can see it here so that's really nice nice done uh, by by the dialogues team and it's a new feature which in the previous version of dialogues um, we were not um, um, having let's say available and now i think it's really it's really nice that we have and it really makes our life easier as lighting designers so i wish you a good day if you have any questions please add your comment um to this video and if you did not subscribe to my youtube channel please do so and until next time i wish you all the best take care of you bye bye